The Iowa Attorney General's Office says it has completed an audit of payments made through victim services that has held up emergency contraception funding for victims of sexual assault. Attorney General Brenna Byrd says the audit was comprehensive and focused on how the state can best help victims and survivors of sexual assault. Last week, the AG's office said the audit was nearly complete and included roundtable discussions throughout the state. Bird says after hearing from attorneys and prosecutors in all of Iowa's 99 counties, one of the changes will concern following the law when it comes to notifying victims of protective orders. We learned that the state's protective order notification system had been terminated. Iowa law requires a notification system that alerts a victim when law enforcement serves their abuser with the protective order. And the notification buys a victim critical time for their safety plan or to avoid retaliation and violence. It also notifies victims when the protective order expires so that victim can ask a court to extend the protection order to keep them safe. We were shocked to learn that the previous administration eliminated the system in 2019. During the 14 month review, payments to partially cover the cost of contraception and in some cases abortion for sexual assault victims were paused from the state's victim compensation fund. Bird says during the audit, all victim services were still available and that the pause and reimbursement only affected plan B morning after pills and abortion.